Good morning students. How are you? Hope doing well. So ready for today's class? Yes. Today we are going to study about one of the most important life process which is shown by all the living organisms. And this process is important because of this process only life continues to exist on this earth. Any guesses? Yes, it is reproduction. What is reproduction? Reproduction is the biological process by which new individual organisms are produced from their parents. Okay, now this is a very important process as it ensures the continuity of life on the earth. Now, reproduction, how it takes place in organisms? Mainly, it takes place asexually or sexually. Now, on the basis of this, reproduction is of two types, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Okay, now what sexual reproduction is? Sexual reproduction is a type of reproduction that involves the production of an offspring by the fusion of male and female gametes. Fusion means to meet, okay? And male gamete means that is sperm and female gamete that is egg. So when sperm and uh, egg will meet together or when they will fuse together, then the new offspring is produced. It is a complicated process. Now, Let's see what asexual reproduction is. It is a mode of reproduction in which a new offspring is produced by a single parent. In this, two parent is not needed. Now today, we, first of all, we will study about uh, asexual reproduction in detail. That is, what are the various modes by which this type of reproduction take place and what are the characteristics and organisms, which organism shows this type of reproduction. Okay, now first, see the characteristics of asexual reproduction. Now, in this, as you can see, only one organism needed to reproduce. That is, male or female is not needed. Only single organism is capable to produce a new offspring. Okay. All organisms are genetically identical to each other and parent. Okay. That means, what? Uh, now how many organisms are produced? All the organisms will be same to same. They will look similar as of their parents okay there will be no difference in them now single organisms can produce large number of offspring that is from one single parent more than two or uh, organisms will be produced okay now this type of reproduction is mainly shown by unicellular organisms that is single cell organisms now let's go to the another topic that is various modes of asexual reproduction. Now this reproduction mainly take place by fission, fragmentation, budding, vegetative propagation, regeneration or spore formation. Now let's go in detail of all these type of reproduction one by one. First is fission. Okay, fission means to break. Now it is binary fission means by means two and fission means as you know to break. So in this organisms what will happen? One parent body will divide into two equal part. So this type of reproduction parent cell divides into each daughter cells carrying nucleus of its own that is genetically identical to the parent. So this type of reproduction is mainly shown by amoeba. Here you can see that this is the parent amoeba. Okay, now here the division is taking place. First of all, the nucleus is dividing. It is dividing into two. Then after that, the cytoplasm is also divided. And then at last, from one single parent, these two new daughter cell or two offspring is produced. Okay, is that clear? Now next, see budding. Budding, it is a process of producing an individual through the buds. 
Uh, what bud is bud it is a small outgrowth okay as uh, you all of you have seen the bud of the flower it is similar to that only okay so this type of reproduction is mainly seen in hydra so now here you can see that this is a parent hydra here you can see a small outgrowth okay which is a bud it grows on the parent's body then initially it will take all the nutrient and other requirement for life from its parents only then it is growing okay its size is increasing then once this bud is fully matured okay it is capable of leading an individual life then it will detach from the parent body detach means to separate now it is separated from the parent body or it is detached from the parent body now this will lead an individual life so this happens in budding which it is mainly seen in hydra now third is fragmentation okay fragmentation fragments means to break into many pieces and each fragments that is each piece will develop into a new organism okay and this type of reproduction is mainly seen in spirogyra so here you can see that this is a parent spirogyra okay so nucleus is there then once when the reproduction will take place so here you can see that parent body is dividing into smaller pieces and giving rise to new offspring which is identical to their parents okay so this much for today rest will take in our next class have a good day